while day five of the 2023 World Championships was a little bit sleepy just in terms of championship records, world records, etc., etc., we did finish the session with quite a bang as the Australian women completely delivered, and dare I say over-delivered, in the women's 800 free relay, shattering their previous world record of 739.29 to touch at 737.50. Let's talk about it. Coming into this meet, Australia were the heavy favorites to win both the 400 free relay and 800 free relays. And they did just that in the 400 free relay, dominating as they usually do. However, in the 800 free relay, their pass has been a little rocky. At the 2020 Olympic Games, they also came in as the heavy favorites, but faded to third in the final, ultimately touching at 741.29 for a new oceanic record, but behind China and the United States. All three teams were under the previous world record of 741.50 that was broken by Australia two years prior at the 2019 World Championships. Last year was a bit of a strange year with Australia not really bringing much of a contingent to the World Championships, instead choosing to focus on the Commonwealth Games, where they broke the world record in the 800 free relay yet again, going that 739.29. However, their competition was not very deep and their top two competitors in recent years, China and the United States, were not present. So going into this race, it had a lot of meaning behind it. Everyone was kind of wondering if the Aussie women were going to step up and fulfill the prophecy, or if the United States or China would step up once again and slip by them. Well, that did not happen. The Aussies and the US had opposing strategies, whereas Aussies had a very strong leadoff and a very strong anchor, the United States actually put our two best legs in the second and third slots. From the start, it was a race between those three countries as well as Great Britain, with Molly O'Callaghan leading off in a 153.66. Let's remember that just yesterday, O'Callaghan set the world record at 152.85. Meanwhile, Shana Jack and Brianna Thrussell threw down very solid splits for Australia in 55.6 and 155.8. Going into the last leg, US and Australia were neck and neck. From there, it was pretty much a done deal. Australia anchored with world record holder in the foreigner freestyle, Ariane Titmus. Titmus was relentless in this swim. Even though all she had to do was win gold, I think this was a little personal for Australia. They were ready to prove that they could break a world record and win a gold medal even when racing the best competition in the world, and they did just that. Titmus blasted a 152.4, by far the fastest split on an 800 free relay of all time to touch at 737.50 destroying their old world record. So let's talk about Titmus for a second. Here's the interesting thing about 800 free relay splits historically. Usually the women's 200 free comes before the women's 800 free relay in a world championships or Olympic lineup. I think this is why we usually see generally slower splits from the 800 free relay than we do from the top performers in the women's 200 freestyle. Example A, Molly O'Callaghan. She breaks a world record one day in 152.8, and the next day leads off in 153.66. I think it's just hard to have repeat sensational swims in a 200 freestyle on back-to-back -back days. If we look at the best free relay splits of all time, we'll see that Federica Pellegrini at 153.45 from 2009, that was coming off of her 152.98 world record swim. Sarah Shostrom at 153.64, which she swam on the 800 free relay at the 2014 European Championships. However, she didn't swim the 200 freestyle individually at that meet, so I think that's a little understandable. Similarly, Katie Ledecky split 153.67 in 2022 at last year's World Championships on the third leg of the 800 free relay. Again, Katie Ledecky didn't swim the 200 free individually, so I think she was a little more fresh there. If we look a little further down the list, we see that Summer McIntosh slotted in with her split today at 153.97. Once again, that is just just slightly off of her 153.65 world junior record that she swam in the individual 200 free yesterday to earn a bronze medal. And this is what makes Titmus's split stand out even more from the pack. Once again, we have a lot of swimmers 
who swim faster in the individual than they do on a relay split, even from a relay swing. Titmus was 153.01 in the individual 200 free yesterday to get a silver medal. Titmus swam a 152.41, the fastest split of all time, relay or individual, by quite a big margin. I think this just shows the guts, the heart, and the drive that Team Australia has shown basically this entire World Championships, especially in those freestyle events. I think the Aussie women really wanted this event back and not only wanted to break their own world record, they wanted to prove on the biggest stage that they could take any team head to head and they showed just that. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. That really helps us out. Leave a comment below and what you think the next world record to go down in this meet will be. We've still got three days of competition left and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on all of our video content through these world championships and beyond. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.